Hi guys, Chris here from Froggy's Brewery once again. It's a Wednesday. I don't know whether it'll upload in time, but happy homebrew Wednesday. If not, happy Thursday Thursday. So we're back at you with a beer review. Oh, by the way, while we're on the subject of beer, we always are on this, uh, mostly are anyway. Um, congratulations to the Smash Off winner and the placed uh, entrance. Um, congratulations to those guys and thanks to Dave for um, organising everything, getting everybody's uh, shit together and kicking ass, etc, etc, making everybody, making the whole thing worthwhile. It's worthwhile anyway. We all enjoyed some good beers and it's all about the taking part at the end of the day, isn't it? Right, beer review. I've had one of these already. I was wobbling round my local Tesco uh, supermarket here in the UK and I came across a St. Austell brew. Now I've had their um, proper job, no, no, yes, proper job, tribute, etc. Uh, et, but this one I've not had before, I've not seen it before. But, yes, it's an empty bottle. I've had one, as I said. Proper black. So it's powerfully hopped, a black IPA. 6%, 500ml bottle. I've already popped the cap, but hey. Nice hoppy aroma coming out of the bottle. A little bit touch of dark roast in there. Let's give a pour and get in there, shall we? Okay, so there you go. A tan head, one finger, naughty finger. Um, black as your hat. Yeah, as black as the devil's backside. That hoppy aroma carries through in the glass from the bottle. Licorice in there. Such a wet leather. Ooh. Let's go for a taste, shall we? So right away. You get that hoppiness, but you also get that licorice, dark, roasty note following it through. The bitterness is good, and with the darkness, dark malts marrying with that bitterness, so it provides that licorice bitterness and follows the, the hop flavour. I don't know what the hops they've used in this. Oh, here we go. Yes, we do know what hops they've used in this. So we have Maris Otter, Barley Malt, Wheat Malt, Roast Barley Malt. And we have Magnum, Centennial, Cascade and Citra. And using uh, St. Austell's own brewer's yeast. The licorishness lingers a long time. It's still there. Mm. A nice, nice example of a black IPA. If you can have a black IPA, there's an argument. These arguments going around. Some call it a Cascadian IPA. Some call it a black IPA. I don't care. I call it a black IPA because it's black and it's an IPA, so to speak. Right. That's that beer review. If you're in the UK and you see it, try it. You never know, you might like it. Last thing, thanks to all the subscribers that have jumped on the channel uh, recently. Uh, I'm putting this down to one person, one person and one person alone. Mr. Tony Yates, 
Um, a gentleman came over for the uh, Four Horsemen uh, of the Apocalypse um, collaboration brew. Myself, Harry Brew69, new to homebrew Tom, and Mr. Tony Yates from Northern Rock Brewery. We had a blast of a time, guys. You've seen the footage, you've seen the antics. Uh, you've also seen what Tony's said and heard uh, what Tony said in the aftermath. Um, there's not a lot to say, apart from thanks very much, Tony. It was a pleasure, a deep, deep pleasure. Um, and my lasting memory will be, apart from your gentle um, demeanour, is that noodling in the bar at the tap, uh, on well, at the bar at the tap, waiting for Harry to turn up while I was getting ready to open up. You were there, you found the guitar, you started playing, and that was so relaxing for me. So, well, there's a carbonation break for you, and then with that, I'm going to sign off. I've been Chris Frog from Froggy's Brewery. You've all been awesome as always. Thank you for watching. Thank you again to the new subscribers. It's been an honour. Yeah. Yeah, we'll say it's been an honour to have you come on board and see what goofiness I get up to. Bye.